Hi, you should know, I'm just a kid and my name is Daniel Aid. I do silly things like make YouTube videos on my YouTube page. I don't have good ones that are amazing. They're just fine, but I keep them. I don't take them down because they are mine. Ideas I had and expressed to anyone who wants to see. Something I made up with my mind. Something inclusive to me. Something that nobody else can claim as their own. And the reason I'm making this song is not to be shown by all the haters that there are videos out there that are better than mine. Because I already know, I know that I am waiting in line to become one of the best actors, filmmakers and writers of our time. This line is not a general thing though, it's a personal ladder that you have to climb. To get to the very top, the top when you feel you've tried as hard as you can but still don't want to stop, the point when you're proud of all that you've done and you're putting your best effort into everything you do and you start to see all the things you accomplish as becoming truly fun and you've 100% become the best version of you. See everyone has this in them, it's just way deep down. But some people are so self-conscious though that they think of something creative and literally frown as if the notion of expressing yourself and being individual has become a taboo and some kids see people being different and almost recite a ritual. Whether verbal, physical or mentally, it's automatic. See, some might start to let loose and have fun, but then start to panic, realising that they've done something that they have actually wanted to. But stopping because it's outside of the norm and then simultaneously wanting to undo the events of that night because the bully in the corner who was a normal kid inside and secretly liked what the other kid had tried was programmed by society to hate and reject the individuality, so he beat him up and left him unconfident and emotionally damaged with severity. It's like that guy who says, man don't do that, that's gay. See those words aren't his, but from his perspective it's what anyone would say. To his mind gay doesn't mean homosexual, it's just another word that's been added to insults list of levels. Although if he did, it comes from not accepting anything different. It's just because he wants to use some type of deterrent. But he's such a puppet to the current societal values that when he's told that weed is the best, he won't bother to use his common sense or even his sense of right or wrong. He'll just do it without a single hesitation before he lights up the bong. See, drugs and smoking are a topic to cover, but not in this song, that'll be another. Now, I don't necessarily think it's bad, it's just a way to pass time, I just know some people who wish they'd never had. See, nowadays, individuality is only encouraging people who are popular, but it doesn't matter whether you aren't, or you are. See, it doesn't matter if you be creative, but nobody thinks your creativity is cool, because a man who lives with a controlled life is a fool. Life isn't about repeating funny movie quotes because that's what your friends are into. No, life is about initiating ideas, making others happy and more importantly pleasing you because when you're on that deathbed recollecting memories, you want to have something to keep those last few minutes good, something to please, something to make you proud, so much so that you're ecstatic, that your life was lived by you and no other fanatic, that you lived life to the fullest and had no regrets. I mean, when I get to my deathbed, I don't want to have threats. That I didn't have the happiest possible life to live. I mean, right now I'm just a kid, so it's not too late. But I want to give this knowledge to anyone who may be overdue. For realising that life is about bringing happiness to you. So I leave you with the thought that you can be, do and feel what you want and be happy. Now I know that sounds hard to comprehend, but you really have to trust me. Because I may be hard to take advice from because I'm only 14. And I understand that you shouldn't believe everything you've heard or seen. So you could try and prove me wrong and test it for yourself. But that'd be a whole life wasted and that's bad for your health. Because when it comes right down to it, being yourself and doing what makes you happy is the most important thing in the world. Alright, goodbye. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you very much for watching this video i appreciate it a lot my name's daniel aid and you know i'll see you in the next video cheers for watching bye